photovoltaic cell main application of solar energy is it is used solar engines are used for pumping solar water heaters solar cookers solar dryers solar furnaces photovoltaic conversion cell solar power generation conversion of light energy into electrical energy is based on a phenomena called photovoltaic effect when a semiconductor material are exposed to light the sum of the photons of light ray are absorbed by the semiconductor crystal it causes a significant number of free electrons in the crystal photovoltaic cell is the basic unit of the system where the photoelectric effect is utilized to produce electricity from light energy silicon is the most widely used semiconductor material for constructing the photovoltaic cell this is the basic physics behind the photovoltaic cell the light will be fall on the semiconductor means p type semiconductor and n type semiconductor the depletion region will be starts reducing and the electrons will be starts flowing this is the photovoltaic system here we are using a batteries or an important element of an photovoltaic cell but can be optional depending upon the design batteries are used to store the solar produced electricity for right time or emergency use during the day depending upon the solar array configuration battery banks can be of 12 volt 24 volt 48 volt and in many hundreds of amperes in total charge controller here charge controller regulates and controls the output from the solar array to prevent the batteries from being over charged by dissipating the excess power into a load resistance charge controllers within a standard stand alone pv system or optional but it is a good idea to have one for safety reasons next one is a fuses and isolation switches these allow pv installations to be protected from accidental shorting of wires allowing power from the pv modules and system to be turned off when not required saving energy and improving the battery life inverter the inverter can be another optional unit in a standard alone system inverters are used to convert the 12 volt 24 volt or 48 volt direct current power from the solar array and batteries into an alternating current electricity and power of either 120 volt ac or 240 volt ac for the use in the home to power ac main applications such as the tvs washing machines and freezers wiring the final component required in an pv solar system is the electrical wiring the cables need to be correctly rated for the voltage and power requirements advantages it is a dependable energy source without new requirements of a highly technical and a specialized nature for its widespread utilization it is a best alternative for the rapid depletion of fossil fuels disadvantage it is in a dilute and is at low potential the intensity of solar energy on a sunny day in india is about 1.1 kw per square meter area hence very large collecting areas are required solar energy is not available at night or during cloudy or rainy days thank you